Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the Pareto Type 1 distribution and in particular value at risk at various security levels. Essentially value at risk is a percentile, a quantile, and so but it has a, in a financial maths application value at risk is a sort of certain threshold. So it's essentially the 90th percentile, the 95th percentile and so on. So, for an auto insurance company, liability losses follow a Pareto Type 1 distribution. So, X is our Pareto random variable uh, for these losses. So, how much each incident costs, essentially, without uh, just how much it costs to fix the car. Suppose that the value at risk at 90%, the 90th percentile, essentially, VAR of 0.90 of X, Suppose that is equal to 3,162.28. Similarly, 95% uh, VAR uh, of 0 0.95 of X equals 4,472.14. So given these two pieces of information, can we deduce the value at risk for zero point, uh, value at risk uh, at a 0 0.99 level, 99% percent percentile, 99 percentile uh, of X? Okay, now, so this is a Pareto type 1 distribution, so I have both formulas down here, so essentially just really what I'm going to do is use that one there. VAR, value at risk of a certain level of P uh, of a random variable X is theta divided by 1 minus P uh, to the power of 1 over alpha. So that is the alpha, alpha uh, root of 1 minus P. So what we're going to do is just sort of set these out, just to what the pieces of information that we are given, okay? Uh, value at risk uh, uh, here is actually just disregard that; it's a typo. So uh, the ninetieth percentile and ninety-fifth percentile. So one minus zero point nine zero gives us zero point one zero, which is what we have here, okay? Uh, theta divided by 0 0.1 to the power of 1 over alpha is 3162.28. Do the same thing again down here. 1 minus 0 0.95, that gives us 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 to the power of 1 over alpha. So we're dividing theta by that value there, and we get 4472.14. So essentially what we're going to do is a sort of simultaneous equations thing. Divide one by the other, okay? So the, 90, uh, the 95th percentile, the VAR at 0 0.95, divide that by 3162, the 90th percentile. And we get this number here. And if you're paying attention, now this is a sort of little bit of rounding error, but if you're paying attention, you sort of might realize that's the square root of two or thereabouts given rounding error, okay? That is these values here. So this is the first one, okay, or the 90th one, 95th one, uh, divided by the 90th one, which I've just inverted there just so we could have a straightforward cross, multipl er, cross multiplication, okay. The thetas cancel out, which is the in plan, okay. So what we're left, it, it left with is 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.05 to the power of 1 over alpha. Just as a sort of quick remark, A to the power of C divided by P, B to the power of C, that is equal to A divided by B to the power of C. Just fundamental mathematics there. That's an A there. Okay? Just, uh, just remember that. You know, it's easy to forget these things. So essentially that works out to be 2 to the power of 1 over alpha. Okay? And we guess that that is going to be very close to the square root of 2. Okay, it is. So, it is actually. So, that is the square root of 2. Okay, so that means alpha equals 2. Okay. So, now we can work backwards. And now that we know what alpha is, um, there's a little bit of an unnecessary step there, just to disregard that. Theta divided by 0 0.01 to the power of a half. That is theta divided by 0 0.31622. So just cross multiply this term here by um, that term there. Okay, so essentially multiply this by this. And we should get theta equal to 1000. Again, actually, 
just a bit of rounding error comes into it. So I just sort of uh, change it to 1000 just to sort of, you know, it, you obviously know it's going, that's what the answer was intended to be. Okay, calculate the VAR at 0 0.99 of X, the 99th percentile, okay, uh, with alpha equals 2 and theta equals 1000. Uh, essentially, put the values into the equation there. So, in this case, 1 minus P is 1 minus 0 0.99, and that is equal to 0 0.01. Get the square root of that, and we get 0 0.1. Okay, so 1,000 divided by 0 0.1, that gives us an answer of 10,000. Okay, so the answer there is 10,000. Okay, excellent. All right, we'll leave it there.